there is only one trolleybus system in the world that is so adored and revered by its populace that it has been granted official national monument status. This is a story of birth, death, rebirth, and then the immortal reputation which saved it for all time. This is the trolleybus system of Valparaiso, Chile. Hi, this is Jeffrey, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the only trolleybus system in the world that I know of that is designated a national monument. And that system, of course, is Valparaiso, Chile. Now, the history of the trolleybuses in Valparaiso is a very interesting one. It started in 1952 with one ex-Santiago trolleybus. They liked that one. They bought more from Pullman Standard in the U.S. And the system ran for a good number of years. And then it was shut down. And then it was restarted again. And then it was given the landmark status of a national monument. But it was done in stages. Now, in this video, we're going to review a blog post that goes over the basics of the history of the Valparaiso trolleybus system. It's not going to be every detail, but it will give the basics. So let's get started in reviewing this article or blog post about the history of the Valparaiso trolleybus system. And here's the article from transportationhistory.org titled 1952 Valparaiso gets a new trolleybus system. And I also added some information from Wikipedia at the end. It's dated December 31st, 2019. In Chile, a new transit era began with the debut of trolleybus service in Valparaiso. These trolleybuses were introduced the day after the city's trams had made their final runs. Valparaiso's longtime tram service started in 1863 with the inauguration of a horse-drawn railway. Electric trams were introduced into those operations in 1904. The trolleybus system in Valparaiso was the second one to be launched in Chile. The first of these systems had begun service in the capital city of Santiago in 1947. Empresa Nacional de Transportes, otherwise known as ENT, an agency established by Chile's national government, initially oversaw and operated the trolleybus systems in both Santiago and Valparaiso. In setting the stage for Valparaiso's system, ENT ordered 30 trolleybuses from the Pullman Standard Car Manufacturing Company. These trolleybuses were the last to be manufactured by that Massachusetts-based company. The first of the trolleybuses built for service in Valparaiso arrived on the city's docks in November 1952. A total of seven trolleybuses began operations when the system was inaugurated the following month on New Year's Eve. This first line for the system was located between Plaza Victoria and Plaza Baron on Avenida Pedro Mont, one of the city's main arteries. Valparaiso's trolleybus system was soon extended, and the new service proved to be a popular means of public transportation within the city. ENT was reorganized in 1953 as Empresa de Transport Colectivos de Estado, otherwise known as ETCE, and that state-owned agency ran the trolleybuses in Valparaiso for the next 28 years. After a military junta took over the Chilean government in 1973 and subsequently declared General Augusto Pinochet to be the country's new president, however, there was a sharp decline in funding for public transit. In the wake of these budget cuts, ETCE struggled for a few years to adequately maintain Valparaiso's trolleybus system. Ultimately, though, the system ceased operations altogether in November of 1981, and the ETCE was dissolved. Trolleybuses did not remain defunct for long in Valparaiso. Pedro Masai Barrios, a prominent Valparaiso entrepreneur and other local businessmen quickly rallied to bring back trolleybus service to the city. They acquired the trolleybuses and such other one-time ETC assets as the infrastructure and operating rights for the system. 
In April 1982, these men formed the private company Empresa de Transportes Colectivos Electricos to officially resume trolleybus service in the city. The trolleybuses have since continued to operate in Valparaiso. The system, as the only one of its kind to operate in Chile since 1994, has achieved iconic status not only within Valparaiso, but also throughout the entire country. In 2003, for example, the Chilean government declared that the Pullman trolleybuses were collectively a national monument. Several of the original Pullman standard trolleybuses have remained part of that system's fleet, and they are now the oldest trolleybuses in regular service anywhere in the world. Since 2007, Valparaiso's trolleybus system has been owned and operated by Trolleybuses de Chile S.A. On October 31st, 2007, the historic monument designation given earlier to the Pullman Standard trolleybuses was expanded to include most of the system's infrastructure such as overhead wires, support poles, and substations. Out of the current fleet of approximately 23 trolleybuses in active service, nine are Pullmans. And that is the end of the article. Well, that's a very nice story, wasn't it? So what's unusual here are a few things. First of all, the trolleybus system in Valparaiso was so adored by its people and its government that it finally achieved full national monument status. First, the Pullman trolleybuses of the 1950s and then the rest of the infrastructure. And what's also great about the Valparaiso system is that it was dismantled, it was taken down, and then it reappeared. It came back. Usually when a trolleybus system stops operation, it will never come back. And I have a book here on British trolleybus systems, and this book outlines 47 British systems that were you know, in existence. And today, unfortunately, there are none. So, usually, trolleybuses never come back. And if you look at, like, Boston, Boston ran its last trolleybus uh, last year. And they will probably never return to that city. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at the historic Valparaiso trolleybus system. And thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a great day. Bye.